Uh, before we go to any politicians, I know uh, we have one other person that needs to make a. Uh, uh, there's an upcoming event. Ross Nell wants to talk about the 19th Ross. Would you stand up and tell America what's what you're doing? Ross oh, America. Is up, reorganizing Pineview Precinct, right? Yeah, Pineview Precinct. Well, not reorganizing. Uh, Pineview Precinct, Precinct is the second largest precinct in the county. Um, the last election cycle we had. Um, I think about 1,700 total people vote there. Um, and, and the people in Pineview are longtime residents for the most part. The neighborhoods off of Lee Park Road are great places. Um, the people do turn out to vote. The voting percentage is great. Um, so I think Republican wise, it's about three fourths of the people who turn out to vote. But in the, in the effort to bring the people who are on the ballot to voting people in that precinct. We're having a precinct meeting type thing where it's hopefully we can get a thousand people, hopefully a thousand people from the neighborhood into a meeting place in the Ruritan Club, um, building off the Methodist Park Road and the candidates are on the ballot there to come and just meet and greet and we're gonna have some refreshments and just big bushes for a couple hours. What time to start Ross? Um six to eight. So if you know anybody who lives in the Pineview Precinct or anybody's been doing about the Pineview Precinct, make sure they get there, please. And what is it? What day? I'm sorry. Can you? Um, the 19th of April. Um, <coughs> starting, I guess, with the Honorable Joe Wilson. Um, he's been invited. Um, Phil Black's been invited. Um, and everybody on down through. Um, we don't have a council member this time you know, who's running. So, um, but everybody in between are probably um, 14 or 15 people in the ballot. Um, in time. So they have all been invited to come speak. Um, four clerks, all corners, <laughs> um, one sheriff. And, and so um, we hope to have a, a group of candidates there that, that the voters who don't normally get to see, these are people who decide. And, you know, we go to places like this and, and, and hear candidates speak. But the voters, the, the people who pay the bills, the people who pay the money, go to work, come home, live in that, that, that house, and I, I'll bet you that two-thirds of the homes or more in that area are owner-occupied. Um, they, they just, they're good Americans. They're the ones who pay the bills, who defend this country, and, and those are the people we're trying to get politicians out in front of to say, you know, I have a question about um, the property business. Why would West Columbia oppose this, or, or I've got a friend who lives in Casey, why would they do this? And, 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 and you know, you may not know the answer, but at the same time you can say, well, you know, I've got a friend in Casey too, and, and they tend to like what they did, or they don't like it, or, or in Irma, or wherever. But at any rate, um, that's what we're doing. So, America, if you know anybody that, that, that really wants to be informed and find you precinct, bring them over second largest and we're trying to get my my ultimate goal in this is I'd like to see Pineview 90 percent Republican and I'd like to see 99 percent pick it out vote. Getting out the votes the key. That's what's going on. You know we talk about um, things going on in this country. As long as we get out and vote and express our opinion, we will survive this. It's when we become complacent and just sit back and, and grumble um, about um, I don't like Obamacare because it doesn't include cost of living. It doesn't pay my power bill or my, my house payment while I'm in the hospital. You know, uh, that's what I know. And I think that they really need to do that. So when you grumble about Obamacare, they move far enough. But, and, and, but if we get out and, and, and just, you know, if, if everybody gets out and sees what's going on and votes, go to the polls and votes. We've got two more elections, at least two more, in June and November. Okay, thank you, America.